Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working here, guys, on a Dodge Dart, and we will show you how to remove or how to replace the interior door handle on the rear door on Dodge Dart. We'll demonstrate on the rear left, but the rear right will be exactly the same way, guys. So make sure you stay with us, and we'll explain everything from start to finish. Quick introduction, guys. Every car we get at the shop, including this generation Dodge Dart, we make at least 200 videos. Why we do guys all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you need to buy new handle, parts, replacement parts, tools guys, anything like that, we have the link in the description of the video below and you can save even more money that way. So check it out guys. We have a 2015 Dodge Dart here. And as I said, we'll demonstrate how to remove and replace uh, interior door handle on a rear okay rear left door but as i said guys the rear uh, the rear right side will be exactly the same way as well this is the door handle with locking mechanism and all that okay let me try to focus here perfect so this is it guys we'll go ahead show you how to do that we need to remove the interior door panel let's start with that and we'll continue and show you what needs to be done so next let's show you guys what we need to do we need to get a uh, we need to remove a few covers here for the door panel guys because we have uh, hidden hidden screws and bolts somewhere so right here now what we're doing on the left side will be exactly the same for the right side as well but we need to remove okay that cover somehow okay just grab it pull it out why we need to remove it because we have guys a hidden bolt or screw there with a seven millimeter socket uh, from what it seems like so if you need to buy any tools parts anything like that check out guys the link in the description of the video below so oh or it's a little bit bigger maybe it's an eight let's check it out okay we can we, as you can see we have quite a few things spilled there we have coffee and something else so definitely guys okay we need to clean it otherwise okay we cannot get the socket on top of it because of all that stuff all that material i'm trying to focus a little bit so we can see but there is uh, there is quite a few things here that actually prevent it from uh, from getting loose so it is a seven millimeter guys we just had so much coffee or cappuccino something spilled there really sticky that we couldn't get the socket on we thought it was eight but it's actually a seven millimeter that way you will know for sure which one is yours so this one is out what about another one guys okay we have another hidden one under a cover under the interior door handle right there perfect this this cover came out let me show you you have three okay three clips holding it in place one two three okay and now we have another one with a 10 millimeter socket okay it's coming loose but we need to replace the battery on the impact because it's been extremely cold here in the shop and at night it died now as you can see we have another screw right here do not remove this one now guys because this is holding the, uh, the interior door handle to the door panel this one stays there the only bolt that we'll need to actually remove now is only that 10 millimeter and for some reason it seems like those okay sometimes are super super tight i don't know why but sometimes they're super tight so okay with the new battery no problem came out with this this is the bolt right there now that for now okay let's let's remove that cover here make sure we don't have anything there because sometimes we may have something and we'll need to leave the uh, door panel up later you're going to see why this one has only two clips don't drop it like we did okay let me focus quick one clip here one over there and this one is out too now we need to get a plastic panel removal too and we need to start okay getting those uh, door clips loose guys so if we pry it like that you can get a okay even a screwdriver but you have to be extremely careful i recommend only uh, panel removal tools those those clips on dodge okay they're really complicated we have the replacement ones in the description of the video below because those are really guys okay really easy to break by the way 
you can see okay how tight okay how tight that door panel is so we'll need to go ahead and pry quite a bit to get them loose and sometimes they're in two different components middle part of the clip and the outer part and if uh, uh, when you remove the door panel sometimes they will break and you will have to you have to replace them so be prepared for that So, with the panel removal to the metal one now, the plastic one we won't be able to do that though. Okay, you just need to find where the clips are and push there. Okay, and when you do that, it should come loose. Okay, this one came loose too on this side. We just need to go up. You need to go all the way deep, guys. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Nope, you cannot go like that. You have to go the other way. Nope, the other way. Like this one, yep. That's how they come off on this one. You, you cannot push towards the inside. Then, when it gets loose at one point, see if you can grab it with your hands and shake it, pull it, Okay, after that you need to lift it up to come out of the canal and now we need to disconnect a few cables guys. Okay, and we need to, okay, one thing that we forgot, we had to remove the window switch, okay, before we actually remove the door panel. So, let us show you how to do that now so we can disconnect the door panel. Plastic panel removal too, go ahead and get that switch out. It has four clips, let us show you quick where the clips are located. Okay, those metal things, press in, pull out, and now we have more room. Also, right here we have one wire, okay, uh, that we need to disconnect. Okay, and now we'll have more room to show you everything about the cables and all that stuff. Next, guys, we need to disconnect the locking cable and the cable for opening the door. So how you do that, this one, you just grab and you have to pull it out, it has a kind of like it gets stuck here okay so <laughs> this one is super tight okay I'm trying to grab it with my left hand okay perfect with the right one is a little bit better you just get stuck you can see how it's shaped now what about this one here we need to get uh, pliers guys okay pliers and we need to okay let me disconnect that wire first all the way Okay, just pull it, don't bend it because that's uh, like a wire and squeeze those two, two parts in at the same time and start pulling it out, but I, I don't have, okay, we need to lift the door panel a little bit, I cannot pull, okay, like that, because the door panel was holding me, okay, and now we come out of here. Now, let us show you where all the clips are located, guys, and how to remove a few that actually got stuck. Okay, you can see, now we have two clips that actually stayed here, so we need to get a uh, metal clip removal too, and we need to pry those out. We didn't break any clips. I don't know how we did that, but uh, that centerpiece needs to actually stay on the door, on the door panel. Yeah, we all, we, all we have to do is just find this one. Okay, just hold it with your hand. Perfect. And go ahead and slide it on the door panel. Now, let us show you where all the clips are located now, guys. Okay, facing the door panel. Okay, we found the other one too. Okay, this is it. So we have to do just slide it in the slot. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clips that hold that door panel in place. As you can see, just like that. So with the panel out of the way, now we can actually go ahead and show you guys how to remove the, ex uh, the interior door handle. Right here, we have one screw that we need to remove with the fuel screwdriver. Go ahead, remove that one all the way. Why? Because it's holding the mechanism in place. So. You need to go ahead and remove that screw, otherwise you won't be able to remove it. Okay, this is the screw right there. We're going to flip it on the other side, right here, guys. 
okay you have one clip okay that you need to push in and at the same time while I'm pushing it in okay yeah almost had it okay we need to have somebody poke it here with the screwdriver okay okay let's let me get the screwdriver I'll show you where okay right here okay pull up now it comes to the front and you can see this is guys interior door handle if you need to buy a new one we'll have the link in the description of the video below but you can see guys that's how you remove it putting it together practically it will be in reverse order with take it apart make sure that you connect your cables the correct way otherwise your door will not function and make sure that the cables are connected all the way in because if they come off you will not be able to lock or open the door from the inside so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time